Hello, Slicey Dicers. We are live. How's everybody doing tonight? I've already been chatting with some of you in the kind of, what do you call it, the green room, the pre-show or whatever in the beginning. Uh, thank you to YouTube for finally allowing me to do that the last couple weeks. They used to never allow me to do that. So kind of cool I get to do that, chat with you guys a little bit. So, yes, it is quiz night. That starts at 8.15. It is currently exactly 8 o'clock. So at 8.15, I will be reading off all the rules, and then we'll get into it. It's not going to be the whole show. I don't think it's going to take any more than about 20 minutes. And uh, I'll go through the prizes and stuff when we get to that. We're just going to do some usual nonsense here for the first 15 minutes, and then there will be more usual nonsense after that. And if a lot of you are still on here, we can go a little late tonight. That's all right. But, yes, it is quiz night, and I did make this graphic all by my very self on Photoshop. I didn't ask my wife for any help. I'm I'm quite I'm quite proud of it. I, I made it look all neon-y and stuff. That was my uh that was my goal with it. I'm I'm kinda happy with it. I don't like I need to get more fonts. I need to get more fonts. I don't like the font. But other than that, I looked around for some like stock images and I didn't like any of them. I thought I could probably do it. So uh uh you don't get a buzzer. We'll explain when we get to there. Uh, yes, you should thank you, Connor. I do appreciate that. So uh, yeah it took me a, a very stressuous 12 minutes <laughs> to make it but uh yeah i just did little layers and it's got three layers three layers guys on photoshop three layers pretty proud of that so um i'm gonna open the beer now uh i have stella artois nothing fancy today it's really hot up here and i just kind of wanted a really um there's a funny story behind the stressuous david i, I will explain that in a moment Oh, thank you very much, Zach. I appreciate it. Yes, it's quiz nights. Um, and if this goes well, if you guys follow the damn rules, we're going to do a lot more of them. There's still tonight because it's hot up here. It's 75 out today. It got up to And um, my office gets really hot because it's an attic, and I don't have the AC in yet, so the usual Weeha bottle opener. There is not Jeopardy music, but there is definitely sound effects. I did. I have two iPhones. Oh, my old one is set up just so I can do Instagram and stuff while this is going on. Um, because my phone is occupado, or when it's rendering, it's occupado. So I do have I do have some sound effects, though. I will say that. We're going to turn that on right now. Thanks for reminding me so I have the sound effects up. But, um, yeah, there are sound effects. So this is, yeah. I'm, I'm taking this seriously, guys. You do not, do not know how much effort I put in to trying and making this not be a cluster. Uh, because it has the potential to be that. So um, I'm going to drink my beer. The first round has the potential to be a cluster. That's why I've got Keith helping me out. Kiefer on here. Be nice to Kiefer. He is the he's my sheriff of Nottingham. So um, he is going to help me. There is a pretty stiff penalty if you guys uh, answer when you're not supposed to. And it is not a joke. We will get to that as we go on. But I really want this to go well because I have a lot of people that really love to give me free stuff if I'm going to give it away to somebody else. They don't give me free stuff, but they give you guys free stuff through me. And um, this could be like a monthly thing. I think it will be very, very, very fun. Um, wasn't the Sheriff of Nottingham Evil? Yes, he was. You can, you can do that as you will. The band hammer is out. Not a permanent one, but if you violate the rules... Uh, yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna be without slicey dicey for a little while. Uh, that's because I really want this to go well because I want to keep doing it because I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And it's not a hard rule to not violate. It's not a big deal, but just if you violate that one, there's one rule, one rule. Only play if you're playing. If you're eligible. If you're not eligible, don't don't play. Play at home. Write it down on a piece of paper. But we'll get to that here in a moment when I go through all of the all of the rules. Uh, but wow, 107 on already, four minutes in. Our record is 192. I kind of, that was last week. I kind of have a feeling we're going to pass that this week. But uh, hello, BD and uh, Casey and Cauldron and everybody I haven't said hi to yet. Zach, Randy, I'm really rambling. No, I didn't hit 200. It was 193 last week. So um, yeah. No, you can Google your answers all you want, but you're not going to have time. It's a, You have to be quick on the draw. I don't care if you Google it. I don't care what you're doing. It's fine. Nope, you're not disqualified, Jeremy. You're fine. What's the knife on the far left? Oh, this is tomorrow morning's review. This is the uh, Best Tech Ascot in the new wood and uh, uh, G10 carbony stuff. It's really pretty. And I thought I had reviewed the. Uh, I thought I'd reviewed the Ascot before. I actually, had to go back. I'm like, I'm sure I reviewed this knife before in its normal form. Nope. 
but I think the most important change on it is 14C, 28, and it's not D2. I was so happy to see that. It's a really nice knife. They're like a little over 100 bucks, 108, something like that. It's a really cool knife. So yeah, that is tomorrow morning's review, and um, it's it's pretty positive. I like budget best techs anyway, and this is just a dressed up one. I think the price is right, and it's not D2, and I like it. Um, I just put an order in for one of those today. Yeah, it's really nice. And then today was what was in my pocket. You guys are all going to ask that while we're killing time until 8.15. Of course, it was the LUDT. This thing is... I, whoever you were, you can say in the comments, whoever you were that told me to get an LUDT when I started getting into more autos, I had so many of you tell me, get an LUDT, get an LUDT, and then I saw this purple one and I had to jump on it, and wow, thank you. This is so cool. Not just because it's purple. It's also just an amazing knife, partly because it's purple, but wow, it, it slices like a madman. It's just... I love it. I freaking love this thing. It's so good. Grimace and or Barney Purple. No, it's Slicey Dicey Purple. It's not any of those things. 1428 is the steel, is the steel on the um, on the best tech. Which, to my knowledge, I don't remember them using before. You know what? We're going to try and wipe this camera lens off. Do I have a proper cloth close by? I apologize. One second. The screen's going to go a bit weird because I think my lens is a bit hazy. Yeah, that is a little better on my screen. I keep hydrating before this gets started. Has Christine from WCK coveted the purple ADG? I don't know. I haven't talked to her about it. She hasn't. Uh, she hasn't mentioned it. Damn that TRM is sexy. Yes, it is. You know what? They kind of messaged me and said, "Hey, do you want a set of these scales?" And you know, to put on the veils and stuff. And I said, I, "Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess the the bluish one." I didn't realize, if you guys watch me on um, uh, the, um, uh, like when I show my face and stuff, there is a Starry Nights poster with a Star Wars ad at in it. This matches it exactly. And now I, I really, once I got it in my hand, I was like, wow, pictures don't do them justice. I mean, I wasn't that excited about them. And then when I got them, I was like, whoa, these are super cool. What do they call this, TRM fans? If you're in here, I can't remember what they call this. It's a micarta. It's like... I don't remember what they call it, but tell me what they call it. It comes in a few different colors, but uh, there's no real purple in this. It's just shades of blue. It looks exact. G Carta, yes. Um, it looks just like a, like the Starry Nights painting. It looks exactly like it, and I really love it. Did I burn my finger? No, this is uh, an old cut. I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I did cook tonight. I made carrot... Is it orancetta or orchetta? That pasta? Carrot orchetta? With like red wine vinaigrette sauce. It's really freaking good. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah. It's very much of a pain in the ass, like goat cheese and stuff on it. It's it's kind of a pain to make, but it's really freaking good. Um, yeah, therapeutic edge. Did he say something? Are you on? Oh, agency, man. How you doing? Uh... Yeah, it's like you take, it's, it's, it's really good. It doesn't sound good, but you take uh, carrots, you slice them up in like eighth inch thin slices, and you like toss them in olive oil and coriander and um, uh, cumin and salt and pepper, and then you just put them in the oven at like 475, and you get them so they're basically like almost like carrot chips. They're still soft, but they kind of start to burn around the edges, and then... You cook this orchetta or orancetta pasta. I can't remember what it's called, and uh, which is kind of like kind of a bready sort of pasta. And then you put um, red wine vinegar on it, and some olive oil, and more salt and pepper, and you toss them all together. And then you top it with uh, fresh cilantro and dill, and uh, there's another one. I can't remember the other one. Some other fresh something, <laughs> and then uh, put some goat cheese on it. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. It's one of my favorite meals as a vegetarian. So uh, cook-offs, slicey dice versus... Oh, Super Steel Steve would own me. Because my main problem is that... Uh, um, uh, that's not a problem, but my wife and my daughter are um, uh, vegetarians. So I can cook some meat, but I don't get to do it very often. 
uh, a couple times a week, my wife will say, I I'm just going to say, you're not eating this. And I just make meat, <laughs> you know, for uh, my son and I. My daughter, he still eats fish. So, um, th so that's good. Uh, do you carry your carbon dapper? I haven't seen in a while. It's gone. I sold it. I, I, it was here and gone, so I didn't have a reason to do a regular review, and I just didn't, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it, so uh, I sold it on. I'm getting in a habit now where I, I bought too many knives recently, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let go of some stuff that I just don't, I just don't carry very much. Uh, do you barbecue me outside? Sometimes, not all the time. What was wrong with it? I don't know. It was just kind of thick behind the edge, kind of a weird grind. I don't think it was wrong. I don't, I don't, I think they did it exactly how they intended, but I just didn't really like it. And it was just in a size that I don't carry that much anymore, so. And it was worth a lot of money, so I got exactly what I paid for it. I didn't gouge anybody on the secondary. Some people are really gouging people on it. Uh, Sean T, can you get a birthday shout out? You just did! Happy birthday! Uh, let go of that void. If I do, it's going to go the same way everything else does. It's not out of the realm of possibility because I have a lot of stuff that I really want. So, um, yeah, this wasn't my cup of tea. It's a fine knife. It's just not my thing. I think it was really good for what it is, but... And honestly, if they were going to do more runs of them and then I knew that for sure, I probably would have kept it to do more reviews with, but I got the impression that maybe it was a one and done, so I didn't want to keep it. And I ordered something really silly last night. So, sorry, two nights ago. I got my, um, let me show the best again. Yeah, I got my uh, Patreon money, which I love getting Patreon money from you guys. I appreciate it very much. If you want to go to the Patreon things, somebody's talking about me selling the void. If you want to get early access, if I sell something like that, any level of Patreon, you get 24 hour early access. And it, I'm sure that one will go on Patreon. Um, uh, but when I get the Patreon money, I kind of call it my uh effort money where i get something that i just think you guys would really be interested in seeing so um uh i bought a freeman 451 in s45 vn because i wanted s45 vn i loved my i loved the freeman i held at blade show and i didn't buy it and i felt really stupid for not buying it i bought something else instead that i wound up hating um and selling immediately so i should have should have gotten the Freeman, so I looked, they have S45 VN, I haven't held that yet, I missed out on all the PM2s and S45 VN, so, I have a Tucson in the mail, Riley Bridges, I don't remember which one it is, uh, remind me when the game show's over, and I will, uh, I will try and look it, but I do have a, I do have a Tucson on the way, and it is a new one, and I am gonna review it, and hopefully you guys won't tell me I got the wrong one, but, um, curious about the Spy 27 steel, I have those reserved in multiple places to make sure that I get one. Um, any suggestions on the hundred? Oh my God, there's so many. It's that, that's a almost impossible question. Um, yeah, the Freeman Forty One. It's got that weird kind of corrugated blade, but um, yeah. Yes, I am using the vape thing right now because we're about to start here. So, do I still have the Rokot? Yes, I do. I really like that a whole lot. I don't see a reason to sell that anytime soon. A, it's not worth a lot of money. B, it's a cool knife. So it'll probably stick around for a long time. The Spiderco bombshell does nothing for me. I don't know why, just on an aesthetic level. Best bang for the buck, Waypoint or Atom. Well, they're not that close in price. All right, I have to get prepared here. We're going to be starting soon. The quiz night at 8.15. Good, I'm so glad so many of you are on here. Got 153 on. Please pay attention to the rules that I'm about to say. All right. I'm going to be cheesy here for a moment. Be warned when we hit 815. I'm looking at my my computer, which is synced to my watch, which is synced to the atomic clock thing here. So finally going to get this thing going. All right. It's 815. Welcome to the Bruise and Blades Quiz Night, where you can win a Viper Sharp, or a Consolation Prize, which, uh, which I, I will show here in just a few moments. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Yes, I got sound effects for this. That's, that's how I'm going to be. That's how I'm going to be with this. I downloaded, I downloaded a sound effect thing. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to annoy my family with it. But thank you guys so much for coming out. I'm not going to do the game show voice uh, all the time. 
Uh, that's honestly just my terrible um, Tony Bennett impression. But thank you guys so much for coming out. So how it's going to go here. We are giving away... We'll talk about what we're giving away first. Where did I, it's a big thing, and I put it where I couldn't see it. Giving away a Viper Sharp diamond system. The whole thing. And I think he's on here. I want to thank Jamie B. Jamie B is the guy who uh, actually won this in my 15,000 sub giveaway. Let's move all the literature and stickers out of the way so you get a better idea what you're going to get. He actually won this. And said, you know what? I'm pretty new to the knife game. I'm I'm just going to kick that back to you. So thank you so much for that. I do really appreciate it. So now we're going to give it away in this fun little game show style. And I'm really looking forward to it. That is the main prize. But I'm kind of modeling this over or against a you know your usual terrible 1980s game shows that I always had to watch. And you know how it is in those in those terrible 1980s game shows. The grand prize winner wins $25,000 and the all, expa all pay expenses paid trip to Bermuda. And the consolation prize is like, you know, a month's worth of, worth of Rice Krispie treats. So the consolation prize, keeping in that spirit, is this amazing thing. I went to the smoke shop today. I had to go to the smoke shop today because I was out of vape juice. I had to go. They have a rack of terrible knives, I walked up to it and I just said, I want the ugliest one you have. And I looked around and I found the ugliest one they had. Yeah, your supply of turtle wax, yeah. Here's where you go, this is the consolation prize. So whoever finishes second gets this. Yeah. Drink it in, boys. Drink it in. This is so disgusting. It's a master, the MCA, don't have my reading glasses on, 019, something like that. Not only do you get this fine gold paint, this nice, this nice painting of what is, I think, a deleted scene from uh, Finding Nemo, or, ne or Finding Dora, one of those movies, um, uh, you get nudity. And not only do you get nudity, I'm just going to say it. Look where your fingers land when you grab it. Boom. I'm just saying. Oh, there will be a sticker with the knife, which will be worth much more than this knife is. This was 12 of my own dollars. And what I like so much about it is it came pre-scratched. And this isn't like it got scratched after they painted it. They painted over the scratches. So it came, you know, pretty scratched. So you don't have to worry about that. It's a nice thing for them to do. I don't know why it's like that. It is assisted. It is terrible. And uh, yeah, what's the steel? It is the finest, the finest stainless steel. Oh, it's, it is the most hideous thing ever. I think it's even worse than that Boker mermaid. So, and you get to, you get to touch, you get to touch some mammary glands. So um, every time you pick it up, so... That is the consolation prize. So, it does feel pretty good in the hand. It kind of excites me a little bit, but it does feel pretty good in the hand. So let's get going. What are the rules here? Now everybody, please pay attention to what the rules are. So, I printed them out and everything. Bruise and Blades quiz rules. So round one, all of you are eligible. I'm going to present a question. The first five Move on to round two. So the first five correct answers move on to round two. I have Keith helping me out. We're probably going to pause for a moment while we make sure we have the right five. The first five, and it's going to be the first five that come up on my screen, and not the first five who respond in order. There's delays and all that stuff, so who knows? The first five that come up on our screen in order with the correct answer move on to round two. All right? And then from round two, oh, and in, that, in this round, by the way, in this round, you only get one guess. Just one guess, that's it. You can't do multiple guesses, you can't spam it. One guess, that's it. It's your first guess, and that's it. So don't make multiple questions, don't make multiple answers and just shotgun it and hope that you get it. Because we're not going to allow that. This is going to be the chaos round. Round two, if you guys follow the rules, which there will be a very stiff penalty for not following the rules, round two is only those five get to keep playing. Only those top five get to play. 
um, somebody asked how you came up with the comments. There's two of us. So uh, we're going to take a moment and figure it all out. So round two is only those five, the top five, the first five get to go on. They can guess in this round as many times as they want because it's still going to be the first four. But they can guess as, as many times as they want because it's only five. I can keep track of it. If you are not eligible, do not comment. There is a very stiff penalty coming up. I will say in just a moment if you do if you do comment when you shouldn't be. So those those now the next four move on. And then in round three, it's only those four. First three correct answers move on. You're probably kind of getting all of this. Um, and then round four, down to three. And then final round, there's just two. First correct answer wins. All right? So in order to stop it from being a complete giant cluster, here are the penalties. And I'm extremely serious about these. Um, Keith's going to keep an eye on you. I'm going to keep an eye on you. If you comment with an answer, correct or not, to a question that you are not eligible to answer, meaning you're not one of those five, you're not one of those four, you're not one of those three, you're not one of those two, um, you're going to be blocked from the channel for a week. And I completely mean that. I I'm, I'm, will block you out. You're done for a week. This is very, very important. I want to make sure this is this works. And if it if that's the only problem we have and I want to do another one of these, it'll be a month. I'm just, I'm, you're going to be blocked. I'll unblock you when it's over, but very serious about it. As I said, first round is one answer only. Multiple guesses will be disqualified. And subsequent rounds are allowed multiple tries. First correct answer wins. So here we go. All right. Quiz night ain't no joke. No, because we got good prizes and stuff. I want to make sure that it works. And if I, if, if I think that you're, spamming answers just to be a jerk like if you make a mistake it's a one week ban if i think you're doing it just to be an ass you're done forever no none of these are multiple choice you're allowed to use whatever whatever google or anything you have access to but you got to be quick so it's probably not going to help you but yeah you're allowed to look at anything you want you can turn on your phones and stuff and have it open down below you watch this on your computer have it on your phone you can search whatever you want but you got to make sure that you're one of the first people to answer it. It's about speed and accuracy. All right. Take a drink of my beer. No, there are no essays involved. I don't have time to read that. So. Oh, I don't have the drum roll on this one. Dang it. I was going to do something really fun. All right. So are we ready? Yeah, I think you did miss something, August. You had to be on here at 8.15. So, uh, uh, I will reiterate the rules before uh, each question. So round one, first question. Again, this is the only question that you are all eligible to answer. Okay? This is the only question all of you are eligible to answer. Are you ready, Keith? I'm going to make sure that I see Keith is ready before we get started because I have my, I have my pen and paper here ready to go so that I can uh, write down the first five that I see. Are you ready, Keith? Because it's really hard for me to scroll back. Is the only reason why I need it. I need help with this. So, all right, he's ready. Okay, here we go. Round one. This is the only question that you are all eligible to answer. The first five of you to answer correctly will move on to the next round. This is the only one you are all eligible to answer. So here we go. Round one. What type of knives did Benchmade first produce in poor handwriting? What type of knives did Benchmade first produce? All right, I got five. So stop now. We're going to make the stopping sound. Okay, we're done with that one. I definitely have five. I saw five. The next rounds will be much more competitive when we have fewer people. So we have... All right, cool. It's not making me scroll down. So I can actually read all of these. The correct answer was balisongs or butterfly knives. I would have also accepted, but that would have taken you longer to type. So we have, according to my thing, and uh, I'm going to have Keith verify this. I think I got it all pretty good. So we have Michael Hempfill and Red Dog. Kranika 
Zach stuff. And Herm D. So that is what I got. Connor Mitchell is the one who just barely missed out. So that is our round, round two. Are you correct with that, Keith? Is that what you see as well? I said we were just going to message each other, but I think I got it all. So, um, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is I sorry about adjusting this. How these things go. So, um, uh, yeah, you get kind of delays and stuff. It's a, about as much as I can do with that. So but the next ones will be much more. Um, will be much. Yeah, Bally was. Belly for short was good, but you weren't one of the first five. Yep, that's what he got. That's what Keith got too. So our 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 uh, numbers match. So let's get going. So yeah, the delay, but Keith and I's screens both match. So that's what we're going with. That's the best I can do on these. So now, if you didn't get it, and you are upset. I'm sorry I downloaded these. I downloaded these. I had to. <laughs> no, people can still keep comment. It's fine. Um, uh, yeah, if you wait to look at someone else's correct answer, then uh, then you're not going to get it. Again, we'll do the car horn when we get it on here. But yeah, I got sound effects. It's so much It's so much fun. Um, okay. Thank you very much, Keith, for helping out. He is my, my Vanna White. He's at home. I can't verify it, but I told him to wear a dress, and I assume that he is. Um, so... I think he's wearing a nice van address. All right, here we go. I can't believe, I can't imagine he'd disobey me. Round two, now round two, this is only four in my terrible handwriting. Michael Hempfill, Red Dog, Kronika, Zach Stuff, and Herm D. All right, this is only for these people. None of you else can answer. If you answer, you're out of here for a week because I really want to make sure this goes smoothly. All right, here we go. Round two question is, what are the names of the father and son team behind Spider-Co? What are the names of the father and son team behind Spider-Co? First four correct answers goes on. Red Dog God, oh, I shouldn't say that, Kronika. Um, yeah, don't, you don't even answer more than once. I think I already got yours. Oh, I think maybe Zach stuff is the odd man out. All right, we can stop now. Pretty sure we got four here. Where's my, where's my horn? Okay, so I think we got it. Let me see which one's got it right that we're eligible to. Nobody, nobody cheated. Nobody shouted out the answer. Thank you guys very much for that. I very much do appreciate it. Uh, so we got Kronika, Red Dog, Mark. Oh, nope, Herm is the uh, man out. Sorry about that. Zach just barely nipped you on that, unless I'm seeing it wrong. No, no, I'm sorry. I was right the first time. Herm D. So Zach is the man out. Zach is the man out. Nope, Herm D said the same thing twice. His first one was before Zach's. I think he was answering twice to make sure he got through. So, yeah. I'm seeing a Herm D above Zach on my screen. Are you, do you verify that? Keith? My Sheriff of Nottingham, my Vanna White. Oh, my first was wrong. Oh, you were you are correct, Herm D. Thank you for being very nice about that. Thank you very much. You are correct. Your first one was wrong. And he got you on the second one. It said less than sale. That's what I looked. Yep, you are correct. All right, we have it now. Okay, thank you very much for being really honest about that, Herm. I probably could have just, um, just totally screwed that up. So we have for the next round, Michael Hamphill. I feel like I should have a let's get ready to rumble voice on this. Red Dog! And Kronika, we're going to abbreviate your name a bit there. And Zach Stuff. 
So that is our next round. Just these four. Yeah, let's get ready to type. So round three. Oh, the next question is not about Benchmade. <laughs> Only one Benchmade question. Um, the next round is round three. Only four Michael Hamphill, Red Dog, Kronika, Zach stuff. That is it. Anyone else who answers, you're banned for a week because this is important. It needs to get done correctly. We'll have the regular show going on after this. Keep your pants on. And yes, thank you. Herm D gets a sportsmanship award. Round three. Where are most of knives made? Where are most of cold steel knives made? I'm going to keep quiet until we have answers. Um... We only have two so far. We still need a third one. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we got it. We have our three. Zach stuff is out. Now we're getting down to a number that I can handle. It is Taiwan. Most of their knives are made in Taiwan. That question was inspired because of the fact that... Um, that it, a lot of people think, like whenever I say best American-made knives, uh, everybody says cold steel. Yeah, they're not. Most of them aren't made here. They've done a couple here, but not very much. Next question is about the Byzantine Empire. No, I, I made that joke earlier, yeah. I, I thought about throwing in a weird uh, esoteric question, but um, I didn't. Actually, know a lot about the Byzantine Empire. I don't know why I know that. So, this next round is... Only four. Zach stuff is out. So again, the terrible handwriting. Michael Hamphill, Red Dog, and Kranika. All right. Just these three are the only ones eligible to answer. Anyone else who answers, correct or not, silly or not, being a jerk or not, you're banned for a week. So, because I really want to make sure this goes well. All right. You can cheat in any other way that you want, but... You can't, you can't do that. So you can look up your Google machines, all that stuff. All right. Here we go. Round four. What country is, is Gareth Bull Knives based out of? What country is Gareth Bull Knives based out of? Only four. Michael Hamphill, Red Dog, and Kronika. And we have our two. That was very, very quick. So, sorry, uh... Michael Hamphill, you are out of that one. So I'm going to show the final question. That would have been very bad. And I don't know where I put my pen. I'm so good at this, guys. You guys have no idea. If you could see the pile of papers that is in my desk right now. Yeah, good game, man. You made, you made it pretty far. So we're going to cross him out. So now it is the final question. Just Red Dog or... Kronika. Just the two of you. Kronika L. Okay, I got that. So we're down to Red Dog and Kronika L, the only two eligible for this. Both of you are going to win something. Somebody's going to win a Viper Sharp, and somebody's going to win this beauty. So all you got to do at the end of this, shoot me your email. Or you can email me at slicedice75.com, at, at gmail.com, Jesus, and send me your address. That's what I want, your mailing address. So... All right. Yes, yeah, someone might throw it and try to get that beautiful knife. I guess I guess I couldn't blame it if you were a psychopath. But what is the final question? Here we go. Again, only Red Dog or Kronika can answer. None of the rest of you can answer. Or you face us the face the band hammer. So here we go. Final question. This is a slicey dicey related question. This is a personal question. This comes down to which one of the two of you can either cheat and find it or Hopefully you watched the video. Here we go. And the final is, in a recent interview in my 15,000 sub giveaway video, I'll give you a hint if you have to go back and, and look at it. 
um, in my 15,000 sub video, what crime did Brian admit to in high school? What crime did I commit in high school that I admitted to in my interview video? Got to make the last question really hard. Kronika got it. Yes, I stole a cop car. Very good. Kronika is our winner. She is he or she. I don't know the name of what that is. It sounds female, but who has any idea? Kronika wins the Viper Sharp. And Red Dog, you are going to get this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful knife. So, yeah, th this is a, uh, yeah, well, shoot me an email, Kronika. Shoot uh, both of you guys, shoot it to me at slicedicey75 at gmail.com. And we're going to get that sent out to you. Yeah, I did. I did steal a cop car in high school. It was. Uh, I got. They didn't. They. I got away with it. This was fun. This worked. Would everyone? Would everyone agree that this worked? I think this was fun. I think this is something that we should do again. I closed out my sound effects. I didn't use them nearly enough. So I'm going to applaud all of you that you did not cheat. All of you were good. No one tried to be a ruiner or anything like that. I didn't get to use a lot of my other sounds, which I'm really disappointed by. I didn't get to use this sound. Oh, that's no, not that one. I don't like that one. This is the one I didn't get to use. I never got to use that. Yeah, nobody got banned. I think this is going to be fun. I think we can do this. I did get to use the baby crying, though. <laughs> I think I, I'm going to keep this sound effect thing around all the time. It's just on my backup phone. So I have a backup iPhone, old iPhone 6 that. All right. All slicey dicey next questions next time would be entertaining. You know, I thought about that and um, my wife actually thought I could do that. And then I thought, nah, that seems kind of egotistical. Even for me, I'm not going to do that. I wanted some general knife questions till it got uh, narrowed down. So yeah, that wasn't a cluster at all. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm going to keep all the stuff that I printed out for this and uh, except for this, because who knows what the prize will be next time. But yeah, maybe I'll make this like a monthly or bi-monthly thing. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Thank you guys again so much for being cool. And now we can just get back to the general stupidity of a bruise and blades. So awesome. I was, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of all of you. I had to take my fingers off the keyboard so I didn't do anything. Sorry. Yeah, sit on your hands. I probably, if I was watching this, I probably would have had to just sat on my hands. But who is the real winner? Is it Kronika or is it Red Dog? Because he gets this beautiful specimen that we're just going to... I can only put it out here for about 15 seconds or Google will demonetize the video. But, um, yeah. Speaking of monetization, yeah, the Super Chat is open and everybody's been uh, distracted by the game show. But, um... Yeah, I think I think we might we might do that again, and maybe uh, maybe next time I'll put on a round that's just a general trivia question about like the twenty six Yankees or something about that. But um, Red Dog gets to feel the tatas. Yeah, that's right. Um, what else do I want to bring out? What do I have here? So I got another new one I got in this week, the Invictus. I've been enjoying this a lot, as you can tell, because the blade is disgusting on it. Um. Well, the answer to, is 42 to every single question. Thank you very much, Franco. No, you did not win. You didn't participate. Um, yeah, it's just a free iPhone app for the sound effects, and I just hold it up to my other phone that's recording this. But, yeah, everyone won. You got to watch something something fun. Yeah, <laughs> my dog's fingers are so excited. You know, I have a backup. I have a backup. Thank you, Keith. You didn't have to do anything. You helped out. I couldn't do it without you. That first round was pretty crazy. I had to make sure that... He had it right. It is letting me scroll up now. They've changed something in YouTube. The reason why I really wanted someone to help uh, also is because previously, every time someone commented, it would it would just move the move the messages. So it was really hard to go back and look. This time it stayed stable and I could just scroll back and look at them. So that was awesome. Um, really happy about that. So uh, I didn't see how many what our max was this time. I, I know I saw 183 at some point. I expected people to go away, but then they usually come back later on. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think we're definitely do that again. What's another knife I want to bring out? That would be more fun than this. Oh, is Okan on here? I didn't see him. Of course he's not going to be here. 
you pre-type the word hinderer, footprints in the sand, you know, that in Sierra, that's not a bad, that's not a bad shout. Yeah, Okan's not here. He keeps asking me to bring this out. Okan gave me this amazing gift, this custom, as you can see, M390 knife, um, Ozark Trail. I know they use um, M390 all the time, but he sent this to me. But he did dye it, and the dye on the scales is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, I brought it all out just for Ocon, and he's not here. So I hope he watches it later. But yeah, that was cool. It took like what after I got through the rules, like twenty minutes. The I think this is going to be a regular thing for sure. Um, Chronicle Kronika. I I had called it Kronika L, but is it? Chron I don't know how to phonetically pronounce your name or if you are a man or a lady. Um. Thank you again, Zach. You don't need to keep doing that. Franco, not a bribe. Okay. I I see. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Damn, the trail is stepping over. Was it 497? I don't know. Ocon sent it to me with a bunch of other stuff. He sent me some stuff that I actually wanted, and then he also included, included this thing. He said, I'm going to throw in a custom M390 knife I think you'd really like, and it was this. This with M390 etched into it. It is custom. He did dye the scales. He did a nice fade on it, though. It's really cool. I can't do that. Yeah, the dye is the most expensive part of them. It is. I happen to know that a bottle of Rit dye is like nine ninety nine, dollars um, uh, from Amazon. I think the last time I got it. So, yeah, the dye is more expensive. It's Chad Dixon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, Chad Dixon, shoot me an email. And I'll, uh, I'll get this stuff sent off to you. And I like that Chad Dixon sounds like a man who lives in America, so it's not going to cost me a lot to ship it. So I do appreciate that because the Viper Sharp is pretty heavy. I mean, it's not heavy for a sharpening system, but for a thing that I have to mail, it, it's heavy. Uh, I don't know. I'll look into the Insta thing, but I like doing it like this. Delays, delays, delay, and it's it's just, it's not... I think this is the easiest way to do it for me. I'm not going to do it if it becomes a second job of running quizzes. Uh, yeah, tip down too, of course. Of course, that is the domain of the gas station slash Walmart knife is tip down. Delay is fun. Yeah, we just we just go by what is in the order on my comments, so... Worked better than I thought. It did. It did not go too bad at all. To quote Nick, do not complain about how I give you all free stuff. Yeah, you know what, Connor? That is the, I mean, the, not just here. I'm not not banging out the knife community, not calling out you guys, no nothing. Uh, and my other website, too, um, I give away free stuff every now and then on my bicycle site. And, man, that is the number one thing that, you get complaints about is when you give people something away for free, you get a crap ton of complaints. It's just the way it is. So I mean, two way to play along. Yep, it's all over with. Only lasted about twenty minutes. Bring out the uh, the Benchmade bug out with the, the RC blade work scales. This project is going to be done soon. I'm very excited. So I looked around and around and around to try and get some different. Uh, a different thumb stud and different, um, yep, different standoffs than the blue, but I just wanted gray or black. Couldn't find them without getting them all the way from Australia on eBay, and God knows how long that's going to take to get here, what's going on. So I doubled down on the blue instead. I found on Etsy. I bought them this morning. They already, I already have a tracking number. I got a blue pivot uh, and all the blue screws. So I just doubled down on the blue instead of uh, getting rid of it. So I added more blue because I... I thought it was getting pretty hard to get rid of get rid of those. So yeah, make sure you shoot me an email, Chronica, so that I have your uh, Chronicle, whatever it is, Chronicle, so that I have your uh, your thing. Wow, thank you very much, Eric. I, I'm not going to complain a bit, except for that it's 1999. You could have made an even 20. That's how it is when you give stuff away. But yeah, I think the extra blue will make it work. And I also got the carbon fiber pocket clip. I don't know if that's going to look all right with my card up. We'll see. But um, if it doesn't, I'll I'll put it on my carbon 940 or something, but um, 
New Hinder Skinny was disappointed in the detent. Needs a detent ramp. Mine's great. I love mine. That's one of my favorite things about it is the detent is just a little weaker than a regular one. Can flick it super easy. It's super easy to like reverse flick it. And now that I'm screwing it up because I'm pushing on the lock bar. But my camera's in the way. But super easy to thumb flick, all that stuff. I really like it. So uh, can I buy the blue backspace jaw? If you know, because I just said I'm keeping them. I've just got more blue instead of getting rid of the blue. Where's the Shikara? It is actually right here, because I just got done reviewing it, so it's still around. That is right here. Yeah, it happens, Jamie. People do it all the time. I think it's a, uh, I think some people enter giveaways just to complain that they didn't win. Carrying my Invictus today too, great enough. Yeah, I do like the Invictus a lot. It bangs so hard. She bang. It's good. It's a Protec. What else you'd expect? But I love the shape of it. Very, very comfortable. Yeah, Shikra is crying for some writ dye. Probably not. And I got his email for a Chronica. Let me see. I put pen caught up in my mouse cord. Make sure I got the email right. He's already gone. I don't know why I'm looking, but um, cool. Cleveland, North Carolina. Awesome. Oh, yes, the LUDT is a fantastic freaking knife. I am in love with this thing right now. This is hard to keep out of my pocket, as my wife will attest, because she keeps hearing that noise around the house all the time. Battle to the death with that ProTech and LUDT. It's coming. It's coming for sure. Uh, what pen do you use? Um, tonight I had a uh, Boker uh, 50 cal which I've already set aside and don't know where I put it, and grabbed a cheap one instead. Um, I really like the um, Machine Era Classic, and I have a Hinder Investigator I like a lot too, but um, uh, no knife in the pocket today. The end time, oh my God. What is, I hope you're okay. Have you checked your temperature today? I didn't wanna be careful about that. You just got a purple ADT with a black blade. Yeah. If I had to get that, I would have gotten it, but I'm very glad I found the stone wash one. How do Protex do in the nap test? Very well, actually. They, they do pretty well. They're pretty thin and nice in the pocket. I'm not worried about them going off. This one has a safety on it. So does one of my other ones with the Calmigo, I think, has a safety on it. Um, if I let any of them go, it's going to be the Calmigo, though, because they're not legal for me to carry out of the house no matter what the length of the blade is. So why do I care that it's California legal? Um, did you have a chance to eat some fish fry slice? I actually got barbecue for my birthday instead of fish fry. Uh, but I did make some fish fry, sort of. Aldi actually has really good frozen beer battered fish, which is actually pretty freaking good. I do have to say, for frozen fish, it is, it is damn fine fish. Uh, create a new artisan biome slip joint. Ooh, I got one of those coming too, I think, Zach. I have to bug him about that again. I'm really excited to get my hands on that. Um, Artisan Tradition is a nice one, too. I think I remember liking that. Should I buy a Protic Invictus or keep saving for a Chris Reeve? If you like autos, the Invictus is pretty freaking nice. Eric, you lost your 940? Oh, no. Can you do a pocket dump? Well, I don't have much in my pockets right now because I was sitting here doing that. I think all I have in my pocket is just my wallet. Uh, and, and I had my Boker 50 cal in my pocket that I was using at the beginning of this quiz and then I have set down somewhere. No, there it is. Again, I have the uh, my Carta Boker 50 cal, or 40, yeah, 50 cal, not the 45. What are you vaping on? It's just regular plain old stuff, the tobacco flavor. Um, it's uh, Tsunami is the brand. I actually just bought some today, so I have the box. It's uh, this stuff. Really like it. It's very, very good. And yes, I do use way too high a nicotine level, but that's such as it is right now. I was down to six and then got stuck in the house. <laughs> so you know how that goes. Uh, we know you're waiting on a CRK, Keith, and I know who you're waiting on it from because you bother them incessantly about it. It makes me laugh, though. Or did you find one another place, Keith? Yeah, I'm just waiting on, uh, I'm not waiting on a whole lot, oh, I'm sorry. I'm waiting on like four knives, 
to that are purely just for review. A two son whose name escapes me. Um, it's the one with the little chunks in the top of the blade. Let me see if I can find it here. I know how to find it quick, so. I'm gonna try and tell you what I got, because a lot of them are for White Mountain, so I'm looking on their, on their site, and I know it was still pr pretty high up in the newest. So you guys bug me about two sons. I found one that I think I'm really gonna like. So I'm getting a, uh, well, first of all, I'm getting a Kaiser Kobold. It's like a little slightly sub three inch thing, a real steel phasma. Um, and the Tucson, where is it? He may have already sold out of them after I got it. So maybe it's not on here. It's a two. Oh, there it is. Uh, Tucson TS 56, the micarta one. So, um, getting those and then, um, I'm getting a uh, Freeman 451 and S45VN, which that one's more, it's for the channel, but that one's a bit more for me because I want to try it out. And I didn't, I passed on a, um, I passed on a uh, Freeman at Blade Show and I felt really stupid about it. Am I going to do a pair of two s 45 yet? Nope. I, I, I don't usually review too many sprint runs because by the time I get it, they're gone. So it's kind of a pointless video. Oh, yeah, you haven't been looking. It's just fun to bug him. If the tax man is super nice, maybe I'll get a um, another Chris Reeve. I kind of want a fancy pants one. But whenever USA Maple Leaf gets them in. But I'm not, in a, it's not like a thing I need to get. Uh, QB Raven. I don't know what that one is. Anyone have a non-DLC PM4 they want to get rid of? Jeremy Russell asks. Well, that's a. What do those go for on the re, on the secondary? I don't think the M4s really go for. They're not too crazy money on the secondary. They seem to have kind of stabilized. I don't know if anything's going for crazy money in the secondary right now. I try not to gouge people. I know you guys all freaked the hell out when I said I might sell my sharp eye design void, but whenever I do put it up, I'll just I'll just put it up for what I paid for it. M4s go for around 200. No, oh, that's not that's not horrible. I mean, it's what 50 bucks more than they were. Uh, did you know the artisan cutlery comes in two century comes in two sizes? It only came in the small in a very very brief run of my card of, but they are going to make a production small, and I'm going to get one as soon as um as soon as they have them. I've already put that request in. I actually have my centauri right by here. I just ordered another knife case, which I said I wasn't going to do. I said I was just going to reduce instead of buying another knife case, but I'm weak, so I bought another knife case. What are we going to move? You guys see enough hinders on here. I never carry your paramilitary. So, you know, Randy, neither do I. I use it for size comparisons and stuff, but I just don't I just don't ever get rid of it. Boy, yours sounds glorious. It's a glorious knife, but it's just, you know, it gets to a point where it's I have no more videos to do and with it, and I don't carry it that much, and I'm just like, I don't know what the purpose of keeping it around is other than just to say that I have one, and I'm not a collector. I've never really considered my collector. Um, I could auction it off on Brews and Blades, maybe, but um, when I do auctions, I usually give them for, use, do them for charity, not for myself. But, I mean, I could, but is the Freeman you're getting the button lock flipper? Yes, an S45VN. It's all blacked out with carbon fiber. The only thing I was disappointed by is all they have is blacked out blades. They don't have any satin ones, so it's going to be a blacked out blade, but I'm interested to see how it performs with that kind of you know, corrugated steel looking blade, but um, we shall see. The edge goes up pretty high on it. I think it'll be all right. And I, you, I handle one a blade, and oh my god, the action on those things is just ridiculous smooth. Ball bearing button lock. Oh, they're awesome. Why does everyone keep talking about slice dice? Because I'm, I'm very, I'm very uh, uh, important and popular. Um. But I'm really excited to get my hands on it. Good night, Jock's Knife. 
So you reviewed the Best Tech 2 cam way back when. Do you still recommend and were you able to reverse flip with it? I do not recall. I remember liking it. That was a really long time ago. Well, it was a lot of knives ago. Man, I really don't remember it. Uh, Freeman versus Mordax, Battle to the Death Incoming. That is the plan, Red Dog. That is the plan. That's part of the reason why I got it, because I knew I could get at least two videos out of it. That's all I got to have as an excuse to buy a knife. Can I get two videos out of it? And then I'll buy it. And I, I bought it from the Freeman website, full boat. I didn't even bother to contact them. I did what a lot of you guys do, I think. I got my Patreon money. I always use that to buy a couple a knife, a knife or two. I already had a lot of stuff. Better. I was going to sit down. I set aside an hour of my evening to sit up here by myself to look through and really thoroughly shop for what knife I wanted. And in about eight minutes, I bought a Freeman. <laughs> so it was... <laughs> Can you make the, yes, I can make the crying baby sound for myself now. That is, that's very good. That's a very good call. Yes, I'm just whining. There we go. Um, pop the Invictus once. Yes, I can. It, the button on this one's still a little bit stickier than my other Protex, but it is really breaking in. And I think it's just some of them are like that. It's not that horribly uncommon. Uh, should I get a G5 Metamorph or a CVV McKenna for my first front flipper? Do you have a coin available? I like them both a whole lot. I would say the Metamorph's a little smoother, but I mean, God, we're talking like tiny little bits. I'd say the CVV is slightly easier to open and the Metamorph's um, slightly smoother and more fun because it's on like those roller bearings. Uh, Holt Spectre or Shirogorov. I've never had a Shiro and I've only had a, a Spectre just very briefly. I had um, uh, this for like a week. Um... Yeah, the Metamorph is very nice. I need to get another one of those. Invictus on the list's next. Don't you have one? I thought you had one, Zach. Do you mean the next to review, or was that a loaner? I thought, for some reason, I thought you had one. Um, yeah, the Invictus is wicked cool. I have the crying baby ringtone for a coworker. Yeah, that's good. What other sound effects do I have on here, since we're all just being children right now? Um... I was going to use this if it took you guys a long time to answer a question. I had this one too. And, uh, someone made a bad joke. I'm just going to carry this around in my pocket and annoy my family with it. Um, Trek domain or checkpoint. I'm totally out of that world. I was, I'm, I haven't been in the mainstream bike world for a long time, Baji. Um, I'm in uh, recumbent stuff, so I don't really know. Metamorph for me, long, slender, smooth, yep. Yeah, the uh, McKenna's a bit shorter, if that matters to you, like legality-wise and stuff. The McKenna is a smaller knife. The Metamorph is very slim and light and great to carry, but it's a long, stabby-looking thing. Uh, today I still have a job, and I want an awesome knife. This has been an awesome weekend. Glad to, glad to, glad for that, Jamie. And I'm really sorry about the confusion we had there. You know how I said I was going to wait 48 hours before I ship stuff? Because I, I had, so Jamie, the guy who's on here, Jamie D, right, rightfully claimed he was the winner of the uh, 15,000 sub grand prize. And I had another Jamie D messaged me, and it was just confusion. He wasn't being a jerk. He said, I, I saw somebody said that he won. I won. I heard my name. But he can remember what question he answered. And then I just had, all I had to do was go back and find the question and check what the, the profile was next to it. And um, easy, easy peasy to figure out. But oh my God, they make it really hard to go back and find one answer when there's 2,400 answer or 2,400 comments. It's really hard to go back and find one comment. Wow. It took me like an hour to dig around and find it. All I had to do was see the comment. I had to put like three filters on it. It was so ridiculous. Uh, what good front flippers under 100 BZS? The two we just talked about. I would say the Real Steel Metamorph and the um, uh, CV McKenna. The uh, uh, Real Steel Rocket is, Rocket is also really good. Um, do I have that close by? I think I do. Let me get that out. 
I think I put it in this case. Uh, yes, it says tobacco freedom van, but the one that I use, that tsunami, is completely flavorless. You can't taste it at all. Um, and that's why I like it. You can't taste it, you can't smell it, you can't anything. Sometimes you get tobacco ones, they're still just slightly sweet, but that tsunami brand is just utterly, completely flavorless. Because I don't want to be like eating and then have watermelon taste. So this is the Rokot, uh, another real steel. Really cool, nice, or really cool uh, design. Nice guy, Ivan, yeah, N690, it's a, it's a great knife. It's really fun. And you can also thumb stuck, uh, flick it, all that stuff. Even my vape juice is Brian Speck. That is 100% accurate. No, it's just, I don't want to, I didn't like that when I smoked. I didn't like the taste of cigarettes in my mouth, you know, when I was sitting down to eat something. So I kind of feel the same way. And like I smoked Camel Lights back then because, I don't know, I just always did. I didn't want to be a Marlboro guy because everybody was a Marlboro guy. But smoking's bad for you. See you later, Triple E. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, the X-Arc is very easy to flip and all that stuff, and it's got a great blade. The X-Arc I do not enjoy in my hand. But uh, I think we're going to wrap this up. We've gone for an hour now, so um, I do believe that OCD for EDC is still on live if you want to go check his out. He said he was going to start a little late and probably still be going. Um, so go check out OCD for EDC and... Hang out with him if you want to keep on chatting. I'm going to jump out of here because I have to pee again, and it is 9. I try and keep these to an hour. So thank you guys so much for making the, the quiz an utter, complete, undeniable excess, or success. I, I'm very happy with it. So we'll be doing it again sometime. See you guys later. Have a good one.